Hi folks, Robert here with Morbid Training, Revit Training, and today we're going to look at MEP and had a question from someone that wants to know how to do multiple levels of cable tray. Okay, no problem. So what I normally do for something like that, I would create a level. So I'm going to go into this section view here. And I got this cable tray placed in here, and right now it's four inches, it's nine width, and it's at a nine foot elevation. Okay, now, pretty simple here. Now, what you can do, or this is what I do, I would go into uh, this view, my section view, and I will go into my data here, and I'll just drop me a level right through here. It's got to be like like 18 inches from between trays so that the workmen can get in there and um, work or do their job. So let's see here, let's do a quick measure here. What's that? From here to here, okay, 18 inches, good. So I'm gonna just take this guy here and I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna call this my cable tray <laughs> level. Just so I'll call it cable tray, but now you can call it whatever you want. And then I'll go there. Uh, yes. So now there it is in my project browser. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my 3D view here and just tile these guys. So you can see what's going on here. This area is over here. We're cutting this section through here. So that's basically what you see is over here. So all you have to do here to make multiple levels, so I'm gonna do this in this view. I'm gonna go control and I'm gonna select all these pieces here and this. And we'll see what happens if I get out of that guy too. I don't I'm not sure about what's gonna happen there, but let's try it anyway. Let's see. Click it. Okay, so now what I do is I do a cut and paste. And then I'll go back here and I'll paste to a select align levels, selected levels. And remember we got the cable trail level, that's the one. So I'm gonna say okay here. And then in the datum, I'm gonna drop this down to zero. I want this to be at zero. And I want my tray to be a little bigger now. I want them at six. No, I'm gonna just drop it to zero. Okay, so now as you can see here, there's my other level of cable tray. Now right here, I can do some other geometric things. Let me see what happened over here. Oh, that would work pretty well as well. So now here, you can go in here and just do regular drawing. Use your drawing tools here. You can go, I would go in here and I would just say, uh, I like 23 because you can do a lot of stuff um, in 3D now. Go here and here. There, there. So there's my multiple level cable tray. Now I also have a family here, I think, somewhere. No, I don't have it. But I do have, I do create this family for multiple level cable tray. Uh, I thought I had it in this drawing. Let me see if I can find it right quick. So, there it is. It's got to upgrade. Uh, and then we can get the multiple level hangers. So this guy here, we can bring him into this model. Okay, so now I'm going to insert this guy into my model here. Oops, sorry. This guy, I want to load him into the project. Yep, this guy. And let's just drop him right about here somewhere. Or let's put him in this view so we can kind of see from my section view. Uh, just drop him right about here.
And is that him? No. I got to get him down a little more. But anyway, you guys get the idea of what's happening here. But that's how you do multiple level uh, cable trays. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, it's probably way down somewhere or something. Yeah, there it is. Just get, yep, see, it's way down there. So that's this is when 3D doesn't work too good for you. So I would probably pop into this level of view, this view right here, this floor plan. And there's my hangers. It should be over there somewhere. But anyway, hey guys, I just wanted to show you how to do multiple level cable trays. Pretty simple. Uh, we can go back into this view now. Here we can make some adjustments in this view. I'm going to tab it so we can see what's going on. Now we can change these elevations. Uh, this is probably needs to be, let me see what's this distance here. They need a foot in between two levels and they got it. So that's it. That's how you do cable tray multiple levels. And you can keep making additional levels and then you might want to pull this guy back so that ladder, that, that tray can drop right into this piece of equipment. So hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps. Uh, someone asked me about multiple level cable tray and that's how you do it. Thanks again. Please subscribe. Bye.